like so many other games, Subnautica is definitely a game players love to use mods with. And for so long, for years, we were using Q Mod Manager and the Q Mods system. Despite major updates to the game that would break them, and then it would take a couple of days for the developers creating Q Mods, working on Q Mods to get it updated, we always had it updated very quickly in order to support the new changes to Subnautica. But with the 2.0 update, that all changed. So Subnautica 2.0, aka the Living Large update, was a major overhaul for the original game. Not only did the developers backport some of the base structures from below zero to the first game, they also backported a lot of the code base to make the games more similar. And just like with other major updates, this broke Q Mod Manager and the mods relying on it to run. What changed though is Q Mod Manager became deprecated. Now, if you don't know what deprecated means, uh, in a nutshell, it means it's done. No more updates, not getting anything updated, fits, nothing, it's finished. So don't even comment below asking when Q mods will be updated for 2.0 because it will just show you did not watch the video. And that's what this video is about. How do you mod Subnautica 2.0 and newer? Well, fortunately, we're using the same backend that Q mods used in the original game. We're just taking Q mods out of the equation. And if you've used Bepinets to mod other Unity based games, you might be thinking you know exactly what to do. And you could be technically correct, but don't get the generic version of Bepinets. There's actually a special pack put together to make Subnautica modding better. So to get started installing mods for Subnautica 2.0, you need to get Toby's Bepinets pack for Subnautica. And there's two places I'm gonna recommend. First up is of course, Nexus mods. Now, if you have no problem with Nexus mods and the changes they made, you're fine with that, then you're just gonna go to the page linked below for Nexus mods, and you're gonna see over here, there's Vortex and Manual. If you're using the Vortex mod manager, just click this, do the normal mod install, and you don't need the video now, you're, you're done. However, if you are watching this video, you probably are gonna do it the manual way. And that means you're gonna click the manual button, which brings you to the download page. Now, if you're free, click the slow download. If you're on premium, click the fast download. But I said I was gonna give you two places to get the Toby's Bepinets pack for Subnautica. And the second one is actually on the Submodica website. So in the link below for the Submodica website, you will go here and you'll see the Toby's pack for Subnautica. It's the same information all the way down that's on Nexus mods. But the download link is up here. You're just gonna click that and then you click the current version link and download it. So now that you have the Toby's Bepinets pack downloaded, you need to install it. And this is gonna be different between Steam and Epic. Now I'm using the Steam version. I'm going to demonstrate how to do it on the Steam version. I do not have the Epic version because I did not want to pay for the game twice, but I am linking below to a page that shows you the exact path to get to the Epic Store version folder. So all you have to do is it's a different path. Everything else will be the same. So for Steam, the easiest way is to go to the Subnautica page from your library and then just go over here to the settings management button go here to manage and click browse local files once you do that the local install folder will open you see the pathway where it is and what you're looking for on both versions steam or epic is make sure you have the subnautica.exe file if you got that you are in the right place next you want to go to your downloads folder or wherever you downloaded the uh, zip file for the toby's bepinex pack 2 and if you're using anything Windows 10 and newer, you can just open this directly within uh, Windows Explorer. But if you are using an older one or you just don't wanna use it through Windows Explorer, I recommend getting 7-zip. But either way, you're going to just open up the folder, the zip file, and you're gonna see you get all these files listed. All you have to do at this point is to copy them 
into the Subnautica folder. So it's good to have two windows open for this. So I'm just gonna drag them over, copy them, and done. That's it. Now before you go closing the window with the game files and folders in it, go ahead and click into Bepinex. And from here, you click into plugins, and now you have the folder where you put all the mods you download for Bepinex in here. And you'll see you already have Toby, which is the extra add-ons that Toby put together in this pack to help make the whole modded experience better for Subnautica. So where do you get mods for Subnautica after you get Bepinex installed? Well, same places we went to get Toby's Bepinex pack. You can either go to Nexus Mods or you can go to Subnautica. It's your choice. Nexus Mods, as you see, I'm here and I'm looking at the popular for the last 30 days. This one says Bepinets. And this one says Bepinets. And this one says Bepinets. So it's unfortunately up to the mod creator to make sure they put in the name Bepinets or put in the name QMod, QMod Manager, QMM to designate which version of the game it works with. But in the case that you find one like this, Void Tweaks, that does not say in the name if it's Bepinets or not, go into the page and scroll down, look, see if they have an installation thing. Right here, you see it's got installation, extract the zip file and put it in the Bepinets plugins folder. That tells you it is for Bepinets Direct and not QMod Manager. If it tells you to put it in the QMods folder, then it's a legacy version mod. Fortunately though, on the Subnautica website, it's actually a lot easier. All you have to do is go here and choose between 2.0 mods and legacy mods. Click on legacy. You see I have all of these that will work with the legacy version of the game, QMod Manager. But if I go here 2.0, it changes completely because these are all of the ones that are specifically for the current state of the game and not the legacy. You don't have to worry about the names being set a certain way to designate. You just filter it by the type. Let's do an example mod so you know just how to do it. Here I'm looking at Subnautica Mod Manager. And this one does say for Bepinets. When we go here, we click on the download links and you can choose an old version. I'm gonna go with the current version. And so this is going to be the exact same as we did for the Bepinets pack. We're going to open the zip file again, Windows Explorer, 7 zip manager, doesn't matter as long as you can open it up and you just drag the folder in to that Bepinets plugins folder. That's it. And there you are. I'm in Subnautica and you see I've got an extra menu option here, which is the mod manager. And this works with the mods you have. It's kind of like QMod manager, but it's in the game itself. And you can actually go in here and manage your, your mods from in here. So this is definitely a good one to check out as a first mod to get yourself familiar with installing mods if you haven't done this before. And I am going to link it below in the description so you can get it right away. But that's all it takes now to install the modding capability and to install mods for Subnautica 2.0.